These well-off children, parents pass away and uh, they go to a distant relative named Count Olaf who is basically trying to steal the fortune. He attempts to marry Violet in one of the books, which is really weird and kind of mm, incestual. Like yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a cool. sixteen-year-old. Yeah, weird. No, not cool. Not cool. I, I don't. That is not an approved position of modern state planning. <laughs> <laughs> it um, is very much opposed. But as far as custody goes, and th remember that the money stays with the court, and the court will release a budget for the kids if approved to pay for stuff. But the custody is determined by whoever asks for it first, partly. And then, oh, and they just two functions. It might be highly situational. If there are people who want custody of the kids, they can go to the probate court and petition for a temporary guardianship. They get immediate custody. And fortunately, the kids are old enough where the probate court judge will probably ask them what they think. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if they're like, that dude's evil, <laughs> I'd prefer you just th left me on a street corner. Yeah. They'll probably allow, they'll probably listen to the kids' thoughts about who should be a temporary one. And, the, it may, and for older kids, it might stay temporary until they turn 18 and become adults. Um, for younger kids, maybe not. But eventually, the, that person may also want to adopt them eventually, and that's to a different court where it goes to the whole much deeper inquiry of making sure that that person is a suitable legal parent. Um, and with the home evaluations, all the all song and dance and employing the best interest of the child test, I believe, in most states. But... Um, if no one steps up to be a guardian of the kid, it will probably go back into the default system of the state, state slash county system of foster, the foster system, essentially. So, where so, the family still preferenced in the system, it's not just an automatic thing. The yeah, court still, the court still does check and do some analysis. They, gotcha. they, they, they try to leave children with monsters. Yeah, yeah. if they can. I mean, we know news and events; it does happen, but right. we try. Okay. They try to avoid it. Rich white people will not have this problem. I, I I'm a hundred percent certain that they will have rainbows and sunshine as their pay. A, a happy nun will take care of them or something. They will probably be okay. So, so the money goes to the kids, right, through right. inheritance. But because they're under eighteen, they can't touch it. You know, their guardian can request to use some of it for expenses of, of raising the kid, mm -hmm. but the kid doesn't really have control over it. It's all being handled by someone appointed by the court. Yep. Um, the last question here is: If you had three child servants living in your home, what kind of tasks would you outsource to them? Um, <laughs> I'm just going to decline to answer. I'll decline this, this question. <laughs> Hey, everybody, thank you for watching or listening. If you like the show, go ahead and give us a three-star rating. Don't worry about subscribing. That's not, okay, that's not right. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see and you're thinking you might want to get started on this, we recently put together an ebook that goes through a lot of the information that you're going to need when you're getting ready to start planning out your own estate. It is available for free at the link right below this video. So go ahead and give that a click and give us a call. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.